Good day class, here are new lesson entitled, Career and Business Opportunities in Aquaculture and Fisheries. For the content standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. For the performance standard, the learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. For the learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to identify different career opportunities in aquaculture and fisheries, describe the job descriptions and roles of each career, explore possible business opportunities related to aquaculture and fisheries. Class, let's do a quick activity. On the screen, you can see a fish farm, a market, a laboratory, and a fish wharf. Imagine yourself working in one of these places. If you were there, what kind of job would you like to do? Would you choose to work as an employee, like a fishery technician or aquaculturist? Or would you rather be an entrepreneur who owns a business in aquaculture or fisheries? Now, let's discuss the careers in aquaculture. It focuses on employment where individuals use their knowledge and skills to contribute to fisheries development and management. These jobs support food production, sustainable fisheries, and community livelihoods. Let's talk about the different careers and business opportunities in aquaculture and fisheries. First, we have the aquaculturist. This is a specialist who focuses on breeding, rearing, and harvesting aquatic organisms like fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. Their main work includes managing hatcheries, checking water quality, and making sure the fish stocks are healthy and growing. Oh succeed here, you need knowledge in biology, animal science, and environmental management. Aquaculturists usually work in fish farms, hatcheries, and aquaculture facilities. Next is the fishery technician. These professionals help in fisheries management and conservation. They collect data, monitor fish populations, assist in restoring habitats, and sometimes even help tag and assess fish stocks. They must be skilled in observation, data gathering, and understanding ecosystems. Fishery technicians often work in government offices, research institutions, or conservation agencies. We also have the fish farm caretaker. Their job is very hands-on. They are responsible for feeding fish, cleaning ponds or tanks, and monitoring water quality daily. They ensure that the fish remain healthy and well taken care of. For this job, practical fish handling skills and attention to detail are very important. Caretakers are usually found in fish farms or private hatcheries. Supporting them are the fish farm aides or workers, who also feed fish, clean facilities, check the water, and assist during harvest. Their work requires physical strength and basic knowledge of aquaculture operations. We also need the fishery facilities repair and maintenance workers. They make sure the operations run smoothly by repairing cages, maintaining plumbing systems, and even handling electrical work. They need strong technical and mechanical skills and usually work in fish farms, aquaculture facilities, or fish wharves. On the scientific side, we have the research officers. They conduct experiments and research to improve aquaculture practices, develop new methods, and promote sustainability. They need excellent research skills, scientific knowledge, and the ability to analyze data. Research officers are often found in universities, government centers, and aquaculture companies.
Another important group is the Fisheries Resources Protection Group. Their role is to protect our fisheries resources by preventing illegal fishing and enforcing conservation laws. They patrol fishing grounds and ensure rules are followed. Members need law enforcement skills, environmental knowledge, and teamwork. They usually work under bar, local government units, or other law enforcement agencies. We also have the Fish Wharf Operator. They manage operations at fish wharves where fishing boats unload their catch. They handle sorting, processing, storing, and distributing fish products. For this role, strong organizational, leadership, and logistics skills are needed. Now, let's move to entrepreneurship opportunities. Remember the saying, if you don't want to be hired, you can be the one hiring. Let's now compare career opportunities and business opportunities in aquaculture and fisheries. When you choose a career, you usually work for a company or institution. You receive a stable salary, and your growth comes from promotions and skill development. On the other hand, when you go into business, you create and manage your own enterprise. Your income will depend on your risks, decisions, and efforts. Growth is measured by how much you expand your business and how successful it becomes. So, whether you choose a career path or a business path, both have their own advantages and challenges. For business, one option is becoming a fish farm owner. This is an entrepreneur who manages hatcheries, nurseries, or grow out farms. They oversee the entire production cycle, hire workers, and sell fish for profit. The income potential is high, especially since fish is always in demand. There are also fish distributors, who transport fish from producers to retailers, restaurants, or wholesalers. They must maintain product quality and build strong connections. Income here can be moderate to high, depending on the scale. Another role is the fish supplier. A fish supplier is someone who sources and procures fish directly from fish farms or fishermen and delivers them to the market. Their main duties include buying fish, keeping enough stock, checking quality, and making sure there is always a continuous supply. The income in this type of business can range from moderate to high, depending on the scale of operations. Since suppliers serve as the link between producers and distributors, the market demand for this role remains steady and essential. Then we have the fish handler. A fish handler is responsible for making sure fish products are handled properly to maintain safety and freshness. Their main tasks include sorting the fish, packaging them correctly, adding ice, and storing them properly for transport. To do this job well, they need knowledge of food safety and proper hygiene practices. The demand for fish handlers is very important and constant, since they play a vital role in every stage of fish marketing. Lastly, a fish trader. A fish trader is someone who buys and sells fish for commercial purposes. Their main duties include sourcing fish from suppliers, negotiating prices, managing their inventory, and selling to customers. Skilled traders have the potential to earn a high income, especially if they are good at handling deals and building strong connections. The market demand for fish traders is very strong because fish trading is not only local but also a global business. To sum up, careers in aquaculture provide stable jobs in areas such as production, management, and conservation. On the other hand, business opportunities offer independence and the possibility of higher income, depending on effort and risk-taking. Both career paths and business ventures are equally important because they support the growth of the aquaculture industry and help ensure our national food security. Class, let's have a short activity called, Choose Your Path. Think about your future. Which would you prefer? A career in aquaculture or a business in aquaculture? For our quiz, write T if the statement is correct and F if it is wrong. 1. 
an aquaculturist specializes in breeding, rearing, and harvesting aquatic organisms. 2. A fishery technician is mainly responsible for repairing fish cages and maintaining plumbing systems. 3. A fish farm caretaker feeds fish, cleans ponds or tanks, and monitors water quality. 4. A research officer's role includes developing new and sustainable aquaculture practices. 5. The Fisheries Resources Protection Group is tasked with preventing illegal fishing and conserving fishery resources. Here are the correct answers.